Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first vlog. Look at my absolute crazy hair. I need to wash it, but don't have time today, so it's going to be hat day. Um, and I'm going to show you how I kind of do that for, like, dirty hair that needs to be in a hat. Also, pardon this dirty, dirty mirror. My dog keeps licking it and it gets so dirty so but let me show you how I put my hair in a hat and kind of mask dirty hair when you don't have time okay here I am in my bathroom so what I'm going to do so I have like oily roots the ends are fine um, I had it curled like two days ago but my hair is so straight it just falls out but it still has like some sort of a bend in it but what I'm gonna use is the Batiste this is a dry shampoo this is the dark color so it matches dark hair. Um, I use the regular one too, but this is what I have right now, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to spray my roots and I'm just going to like lift them and try to get in. And I have a cowlick back here that always splits, so I really try to get that. Especially when my hair is dirty, it splits bad. Lift up, get my bangs, and then I always go around my hairline a little bit here. Just to freshen it up. So one thing you want to do with dry shampoo is you want to let it set for a second, soak up all the oils, and then you can run your fingers through it and mess it up. Um, but what I'm going to do for the ends is use a little texture spray. So I use a bunch of different types of texture spray. Um, I've used the Verb Matrix, but today I'm going to use Kristen S. This is Working Texture Spray. I love this stuff because it's one, it's adorable. Look how cute this packaging is. And two, you can get it at Target and it's super quick and easy when you are like in between appointments at your hairdresser but you need like a good styling product. This is at Target. So what I'm going to do is spray that throughout all my ends. And like look at all the texture it's already building up. So, like I said, I have super straight hair, so I always need to use like a good texture spray, something, or my hair is just literally like slicked across my face and scalp. So now that my dry shampoo is set a little, I'm just going to run my fingers through it. But since it's dark hair, like since it's a dark dry shampoo, like you can't really see it. If I used the white one, I would mess it up a little bit more, but also I'm going to be wearing a hat, so you're not going to see my roots. So then after I do that, I got all this volume, so what you could do is just like pin it back and it would look fine, but I have this, oops, brush fell, this really cute hat from Target um, that I'm going to wear, so I'll show you how I put, and I always like wearing those hats with like a low bun, I think they're really cute, so I'm just going to loosely grab all my hair, let some of my face framing pieces fall out, and even doing a cute little ponytail would be cute, so when I do, I'm going to turn around and show you how I grab it. So I have it in a ponytail and I grab a little bit of this, so that little nub, and then I swoop this all around and tuck that in. So it's like that. Then I just pull it apart. Yeah, kind of like that. So you have like this cute little messy bun and you could put like a cute little hair bow right there, or put a little scarf over it. All of those things could be so cute. But I'm gonna put on my hat. And I like little pieces falling down and I like my um, ears, the tops of my ears cover just a little bit sometimes. Now, for the longest time I couldn't figure out how to wear this type of hat. It's a new trendy style and sometimes you can look like a train conductor. So, but I found with this one, all I need to do is kind of like push it back, the back a little instead of like having it so high up in the front like this, like I feel like. I'm a train conductor. So what I do is kind of like pull this back down a little bit. Kind of make it look more like a paper boy type thing. And then yeah, this is my hat style. Love it. All right, let's get back to the vlog. Jeff and I are going to run some errands. Hey. That Cracker Barrel, about to go eat lunch. Look, they already have Christmas stuff. It's the end of August. It's Cracker Barrel, what do you expect? Oh, how beautiful. Let's cry. 
prize money. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of sodium. Change of plans. We're not really running errands. We're going to go swim in the White River with our friends and all of our dogs. And then we might go bowling later tonight. Which we are going bowling later. We are going bowling later. Jeff loves bowling. So does our friend Zach. So it should be a fun day. Just got home from the river, cooking Jeff's tofu for the week, hanging out. We just took showers and then we're going to go bowling later on, but just kind of finishing up a couple chores before we go. Yeah. Jeff's tofu, we put this curry and barbecue sauce from Fresh Time on it and let it marinate. And then he puts it with rice and like some broccoli or cauliflower. So Jeff and I went um, shopping for a hot second in between like our activities today and I want to show you what I got. So first from Target I got this cute little bag. I guess it's not little, it's like medium size. And the strap comes on and off and then these are like pretty sturdy. So that's from Target and then we went to the mall and I only got stuff from H&M. And it's all fall stuff because I'm ready for fall. So we got this like just t-shirt long sleeve with like the yellow and white stripe and then it's just a normal t-shirt. I got that in a small and it was $15. Then another one, this one was $20 in a small. This is like thicker material, it's more like a sweater and it just has like rainbow colors with a black stripe. In between each color I got one last sweater. This one was a medium and it was like $18. It's really tight fitting but it's really soft and stretchy. And I thought this would be cute with high waisted tucked in. And then last, oh no, I got two more things. I just got sunglasses. Just plain black ones. Jeff doesn't like the way they look though. Which I don't know why you don't like that. It's very subtle. And then last thing I got is a small $12 and it is another like midi, really like skin tight dress. I have a black one that I got from H&M I think and then I just got this like cream one just all the way down. It's pretty thick material and it's just like a body con dress that goes like mid thigh. I mean calf. <laughs> mid thigh is too short for me. But yeah, that's all I got. What did I get? Oh yeah, Jeff got one thing at Barnes & Noble. It's a board game? Is it a board it's game? It's a card game. Card game. Scott Pilgrim. It's from a comic book and a movie that he loves. So yeah, that's it. This is his haul. Yeah, I'm a nerd. It's okay. Alexa, like said, we're going at 730. Here's Arcade. That's what I want to do while we're going bowling. 